One of the most distinguishable voices in country music has gone solo with a style all his own. And today we're learning all about his new chapter and new music. Singer, songwriter Gary Lavox joins us now with more. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Oh, we're oh, so fine. happy to have yes. you here. I, all the people were flooding the hallways when you came in for my mic check. Uh, so it's got to be really fun to be getting back out there. Yeah, it really is. It's been uh, it's been great. Too much time off, so now it's time to get back to work. So it's uh, a thrill to be in Chicago. Awesome. Yeah, but you're going you're going solo here. Is yeah. that a scary venture for you, or was it just one of those situations where you're like, okay, it's just time? Yeah, it was just time. You know, it was just time to. The new seasons are good, so it was uh, it was just time, and it's been uh, it's been fantastic, and we're having a blast. So, talk about your new music. What kind of your inspiration? How are things changing? Are they changing? You know, yeah, they're changing. It's it's. Uh, like uh, so, my single out now is called "Get Down Like That," mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's probably a little countryer than what I've I've done before in the past. But um, you know, just kind of about my lifestyle and the, the culture and and how we live, you know. And uh, so, and I'll have a, another single coming out probably within the next couple months. And uh, so, yeah, I'm on the "Get Down Like That" tour now, and and. Uh, so it's going to be a blast. How does it feel to be reconnecting with the audiences with this tour? It's great because, you know, we, we I played all the big stuff for so long. So I just wanted to get back and just get in touch intimate. with yeah, intimate settings and mm -hmm. do this club tour. And um, so, yeah, so it's uh, it's been really great to be able to see everybody's face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and when we're at Rascal Flats, there's such a great way of crossing genres and audiences. I mean, your audiences must be so much bigger than they might have been before because you've got country fans or non-country fans who just love the music now. Yeah, and you know, during the pandemic, like I think 21, I think, I'd, I always wanted to put a gospel EP out, so I put a gospel EP out Amazing. then, so that now I've got that and my repertoire too, so, you know, not only am I doing flats hits, but I'll do some off of that, do my new music, so it's just a, it's a complete, complete journey all the way through the night. I, I just it. feel like gospel and country are so intertwined, yeah. though. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just seems like the, the, the message in the music is always about what life yeah. and is uh, how you're experiencing life mm -hmm. and how you're putting it back out there. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's all stories of, you know, uh, you know what we try to do anyway as a, as a singer and a songwriter is write about hope and write about, you know, you're going to be able to get through this or yeah. talk about this thing in life. Songs like Broken Road, songs like My Wish, uh -huh. you know, songs like I Won't Let Go. Those all kind of have you know, a, a gospel timbre to them and that kind of melody, and it's just kind of kind of timeless, you know. What do you think's next for you? I mean, you really literally have you, it's open season for you. Are you going to try even more genres or uh, just keep writing music? I, you know, I don't know. I guess we'll just see see where the Lord leads me, I guess. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do any punk, folk. Hip-hop. Hip <laughs> uh, well, hip-hop, I don't know. It, oh, it's crazy, you know. Yeah. I mean, look how many hip-hop artists are in... I've crossed over in the country. Yeah, crossed over in the country, so yeah. I don't, you know, I don't know. You, you never know, know. You might go back the Very other way. Cool yeah. collaboration. You know, really quickly, you have this cool story about how your name, LaVox, yeah. came about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's not your government name. Right. Yeah. No, so tell everybody about that. Yeah, so I... Yeah, you know, my my real last name is Vernon. So when I got to Nashville, I was like, that doesn't sound cool at all. Uh -huh. You know, if this thing works, I'm like Vernon. You know, it just didn't sound good at all. Uh -huh. So, you know, in, when you're in the studio, the on the on the your your board, you know, the audio board. Said, yeah, the audio board it says Vox. Yeah. You know, so I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I was like, lead vocals. So if I put L-E, so LaVox, I had no idea it meant the voice. And I'd have never done that. Okay. I'd have never in my that's lifetime. A, that's a little bit of a, a lofty that, goal there, right? Well, I know, yeah. Well, I'm like, I'd have never known. The, the voice. The yeah. voice. But I like that. It works yeah, for you, right? Well, it works. I, there you go. Well, I'm glad it took a long time for me to figure it out because I'd have changed it to something. I'd have been like, <laughs> oh, no. Gary Williams. Yeah, no, we like the Well, we want to hear that voice. Yeah. Okay. So.